Hi, friends. We hit a million subs. Thank you and fuck you, Mike. All right, today we got a great show for you. Today is the story about Mike. Mike! Mike! Everyone keeps asking what's, what's with this Mike guy. So here, I'm gonna let you know. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the story of Mike. I've lived in the same area my whole entire life. And then I moved into this neighborhood. And when I moved into this neighborhood, this guy comes up to me. He's like, hey, man, I'm Mike. Uh, you know, I'm kind of like the mayor of this neighborhood. And I'm just thinking to myself, who says that? And then he goes on, you know, I do, I do a lot around for people. And I, uh, this, you know, uh, I, guy, I, I employ people. I don't need your help. Thank you. Piss off. Now, that was about a year ago when I met Mike. He lives right down the street from me. He's a fucking pussy. So this is where the problem happened, right? About a month ago, I made a video about Antifa telling them to come to my street. I say my street in the video, I show my street in the video, and I say, come here, you guys won't last 10 seconds. Now in the video, it shows the very edge little piece of grass of Mike's yard. Well, Mike didn't like that. And uh, I come out my driveway one day, I'm walking down the street, he comes pulling down, he's like, what are you doing? I say, what, what, what? what are you doing? What do you mean? Well, that, that video you made, now Mike is like 50 something. He's like, that video you made, you know, you're, you're, you're telling people to come here to Antifa. And we don't need those problems. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, we need those problems, Mike, because they're preying on defenseless people. So he's in his truck. And now you got to understand, I've been to prison. I've been around a lot of people and I've gotten in a lot of fights and I'm looking at him and his pulse is just banging. And I'm like, what, what, what's wrong? Are you scared? What's, oh, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not. So anyways, it was an uncomfortable conversation. I really just wanted to pull him out of the truck and beat the shit out of him. But I can't do that because I'll go back to prison. And because I am an offender of a few aggravated battery and great bodily harms, I won't be coming back for a very long time. So I took the 40-year-old man route and said, you know what, Mike? Why don't you go hide in your house? This is the problem that we're having in America is a lot of people are like, well, it's not affecting me. It's not at my front door right now. Guess what? If we keep letting these people do this, burn down things, destroy everything, before you know it, it's gonna be at your front door and they're gonna be burning down your house. They spent four years trying to get this guy out of office. What do you think they're gonna do if he wins? They're gonna try to burn this damn country to the ground. We're letting them off. When I say we, the government is telling a law officials, police, just let them do what they want. Just let them go. And they're getting away with all this shit with no repercussions. This is the United States of America. And you ain't just gonna walk all over the place and do what the fuck you want around me. So Mike drives around the neighborhood in his golf cart. You got probably one of these guys in your neighborhood. Checks on everyone, make sure everything's okay. Go back in your fucking house and knit something go crochet something you little fucking girl so i'm walking down my long ass driveway to my mailbox and mike drives by and i'm like oh hey mike and he's like fuck you and i'm like oh oh yes this is just my game i call my guys in the house hey guys bring me a chair down here here comes justin with the four-wheeler brings me a chair and i sit here he goes what are we doing well mike just drove down the street and the only way he can get back to his house is go by going past my house. So I wait for about an hour sitting there, chomping at the bit. This motherfucker just said, fuck me in his truck. He thinks he's safe. Okay, cool. I'm sitting at the edge of my driveway. He, this motherfucker drives by. I'm getting up in the street, drives by. Not a fucking word. He didn't think I was going to actually sit there for an hour and wait for his dumb ass to drive back. What's wrong, Mike? Karen, you're the Karen. You're the equivalent of Karen. You're worse than Karen, Mike. Yo, this is the video I shot. I was walking down my neighborhood and here it is right here. Okay, and here is the sign. That's the only sign I've seen in my whole town. Flush the turd, November 3rd. This is a sign pro Biden. Now I have a difference of opinion as that person. Does that mean I'm gonna pee on that sign? Yes, I'm not, no. Now this is where the story gets amazing a few days go by i come down the driveway again to get my mail and i'm on the phone i hear hey hey uh hey hey can you take that video down i'm like who the fuck is this so i'm like what what video what and he's like hold on and he, and, he, and he starts coming up to me he's like I, i'm i'm the the guy in the video the house i'm like 
There was a few different houses in the video guy. I don't I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm the, I'm the Biden guy. I, I had the Biden sign in my yard. And I'm like, this is really <laughs> crazy. Okay. Uh, he's like, yeah, I, this guy was so cool. Now, he's voting for Biden. I'm not endorsing Biden at all. I'm just telling you a story. This guy is like, I don't give a shit about the video. He's like, my house is in it. I just don't want my house getting messed with. And, and, and you know, I got daughters, my wife, she's kind of like, she doesn't, she doesn't want any problems. Okay, I get it. That guy ended up taking down his Biden sign. I ended up blocking his house in the video, uh, blurring it out. I, I was able to go in and do that for him. I had a great conversation with him in my front driveway. And he's, I'm like, you're voting for Biden? I, I'm looking at him and I'm like, this is like every guy I ever grew up with. He's got grime in his fingernails. I shake his hand. It's a firm shake. He's looking at me right in the eye. He's a union guy. He runs his own business, his company, his construction company. Like, I, I just don't like Trump, man. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a tree hugger. I, I, I like to see the earth and everything be good in it. And I'm like, oh, you're one of the, the paper straw guys. He's like, yes. He's like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's one of the things he's like, I'm very, very uh, concerned about. And I was like, this is fucking unreal the media makes it seem like every single person that votes for trump is a cousin fucking redneck hillbilly and every single that person that's voting for biden is a purple green hair gauged vape smoking skinny jean pale looking uh fucking zombie that lives in their their mom's house but this is the whole point of this video that i'm talking about right now is the guy that i should want to punch in the face who is the biden supporter shook his hand had a great conversation with him and at the end of the conversation i said go trump he said go biden we walked our separate ways and i've seen him since then hey how you doing i wave hi you know but that motherfucker mike you pussy the guy that i'm supposed to have more in common with was the biggest bitch on planet earth it was i'm just it was mind-blowing to me because the era i grew up in the 80s 90s it was like Okay, we don't agree on that point, but we agree on other shit, so we're cool. We're buddies. We're, we can hang out. We can sleep over at each other's house. Ma, can I sleep over? Does he agree with everything you agree? No, but he's my buddy. Yeah, well, okay. I mean, what the fuck happened? I think I figured out what happened. I think the adults need to start acting like adults again and stop letting these kids run around crazy. They need to get smacked in the fucking head. I completely endorse spankings. Getting hit upside the head with a broom. Wedgies, wedgies, bring wedgies back. Now, do I support Biden? Does it look like it? F no. Trump, please, or we are fucked. But did I just get along with a guy that's voting for Biden better than I got along with a guy voting for Trump? Yes. Now that's gonna sound crazy to some of you Die hard people, but it happened to me, and I'm, this is my story. And that's all I can do, guys, is tell you what I go through in my everyday life. It's Trump all the way for me, 2020. Fuck Biden. Hey, and Mike, come down and fight me, guy.